Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hi. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to connect. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I'm here. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. All right. Thank Good you. Evening. How are you? How's everybody? Very nice. We are ready. Bye. You're ready. Learn. Very good. Excellent. You're tired. Oh no, that's not nice. All right. Well, yesterday, uh, who was in class yesterday? Fatima, you were not in class yesterday, right? No, teacher. All right. Yeah, I remember. Danielle, you were not in class either, were you? I was. And I know. I yesterday know. was the payment day. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> I understand. All right, very good. I was in the party. Oh my goodness, very nice. In what about party? I? Nice, and you did not invite us to be in the party. In the future, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Hi, Ali. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I tired like Fatima. <laughs> I know. I think we are all tired. It's the end of yeah. the year, so everybody's tired. <laughs> yeah, but all right. But you're okay. Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> That's nice. All right. So yesterday, for the ones that were not in class yesterday, uh, we talked about adverbs of sequence. Okay, so they are very easy to understand. They're not very difficult, actually. Uh, let's see. Who was in class with me yesterday, Glendita? Can you share some of the um, Adverbs of sequence we studied yesterday. Can you hear me? Walter, what about you? Walter, are you there? Yes, I am teacher. All right. Can you tell your classmates the adverbs of sequence that we studied yesterday? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, yes. First. Then, I don't know. Next. Hold on. Who's talking right now? Sandrita? No. Who's no, talking right Jennifer. now? Ah, Jennifer. Ah, Jennifer. All right. Okay. okay. All right. So, Jennifer, can you help? Yes. Um, can you help Walter about the adverbs of sequence we studied yesterday? Yes. The adverbs first. Then uh -huh. Next. After and uh, final. Okay. Very good. So yesterday, guys, we were finally, we were talking about this, and I'm, I'm going to show you this. Oh, there is a perrito barking somewhere. It sounds for like a do big it, perro. So <laughs> do it, uh, to do it, um, recipe. Uh-huh. Yeah, we were doing a recipe yesterday. Can recipe. you guys see this? Can you guys see yes. this? Fatima, can you see it? Yes. 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 All right, very good. So this is what we talked about yesterday and it's very easy. So we have to follow some sequence or some like an order or when you do something. All right. So we have first, next, then, after, and finally. These are the adverbs of sequence that we can use. Now, I was telling your classmate yesterday, Danielle and everybody else that was not in class, that we cannot change first and finally because first is the first step is number one, and finally is the last step, okay? So those two, you cannot change them. But we can change then after or after that, they can be interchangeable, like we can change orders from that. So instead of saying first we boil some water, you can say then, serve the water in a cup or after that serve the water in a cup or next serve the water in a cup it doesn't matter the order which one you use first it's really it doesn't make any difference but you have to respect first and you have to respect finally you understand that guys yes, yes. all right very good so then we talked about pancakes we were hungry yesterday, okay? We talked about pancakes, we talked about mangoniadas, we talked about banana milkshake, and uh, chocolate, uh, like choco bananas. Uh -huh, teacher, uh, I know, please. I know. And then we were talking about how to make tea, all right? The idea was to use 
the sequence, the adverbs of sequence, okay? With whatever recipe they chose. I mean, we had to do all of them, all right? So let's see. Um, Roxana, I know you were. I know you were in class yesterday. Hi, Roxana. All right. How how was the recipe to make coffee for you in your group? Can you tell us your adverbs of sequence? <laughs> okay. Um, um, we we didn't have time to to do this ah, recipe, but we we'll try one. to do it. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, make it how to make coffee. Ah. Yes. First, boil the water. Okay. <laughs> yes. Then put a cup. Uh, cup? No. Top a uh, little uh, teaspoon. A I teaspoon. A teaspoon. Yes. A teaspoon of coffee. All right. And uh, if it, uh, and then if you want, um. Put a teaspoon, teaspoon, no, two sugar teaspoons. Okay. One. okay. Finally, finally enjoy it. <laughs> All right, very good. All right. Hi, Ramiro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Es que ayer todos se dieron a la fuga. <laughs> my goodness, what happened? Anyway, that's okay. I forgive you guys. All right, nothing. <laughs> All right, okay. So, uh, let's see. Who was able to do the choco banana recipe yesterday? Anybody? Who was able to do the choco banana recipe yesterday? Guys, hello, hello. Bananos. Hello. <laughs> Me, teacher? Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. First, peel the banana. Yes. Yes. After, uh, put, uh, let me see, put popsicle stick uh -huh. in, in, into the, no, attack the, the, the banana. Okay. No. Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, attack the banana. Yes, yes, because uh, maybe cuts into into parts the, okay. the, the banana. But okay, half. so you cut the banana in half. Cut in half. Yes. Okay, in and half. then and then uh, put inside the banana or into the pop side the stick. Popsicle and stick. And then uh -huh. freeze. Popsicle seeds oh. and then freeze the bananas. Okay, freeze the bananas. Uh, uh -huh. wait, yes, waiting. Uh, Until maybe they are two frozen? Hours. Okay. Yes, after the frozen. Uh, after the frozen, melt the chocolate. Okay. With a little, with a little, uh, let me see, manteca. Mm. Like butter? Butter. butter. Okay. Maybe, but uh, okay. butter. Uh -huh. and, uh, um, and the next, and then uh, put the uh, bananas inside the chocolate. Okay. The chocolate. And decorate with a uh, pipsby. Ah, uh, sprinkles. Uh, uh, sprinkles. Candles. Candies, Candies, yes. Candies, sprinkles. And after, uh, put a can uh, into the freezer. Okay. And wait, and waiting around one hour. Maybe. Okay, okay. Less. And, uh, and uh, finally, uh, serve and enjoy the banana. Yeah, the choco, the choco banana. Oh, oh, All right. Bananas. Excellent. All right. So the idea from yesterday's class was for everybody to use the adverbs of sequence. Okay. First, next, then, after, or after that, and then finally. Okay. Remember that first and finally, they cannot change places. You cannot start saying finally. All right, because that's the end of the story or that is the end of the recipe. You cannot say first at the very last step because first refers to number one. 
So first and finally cannot change, but next, then after, and after that, they can change places, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you use next. It's always going to be okay, all right? Next, then or after. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can change those from like positions and that's okay. All right, so um, today, guys, we officially begin section five, which we will talk about it today and tomorrow. And then Thursday, which is the last class of this course, we're going to work together on the platform, on the test or the final test to make sure that everybody understands it, okay? Okay. And today's topic is not very complicated either. It's actually very easy, but we need to study it anyway. You know this um, topic, but um, we have to study it just to make sure. Do you know that what topic is today? Future tense. Future, very good. Yes. Future tense. Which future tense? Going to. Uh huh. And will. Going to and will. Going to and will. Very good. Okay. So future simple. If you notice and you can see this, we have. Hold on. We have future simple because both of them are simple. One of them is, if you can see it, is will plus the verb which that one is very easy because will is for everybody, okay? I will go, she will go, they will go, he will go, we will go, it will go. It doesn't change for anybody, all right? It's the subject plus will plus the verb, okay? And of course, the complement. Now, when you talk about be plus going to, you need to use the verb be, depending on the person you're talking about, plus going to, plus the verb. All right, so you say Fatima is going to uh, work on the platform tonight, okay? Or you say Walter is going to finish the final exam tomorrow. Or you can say Glenda and, and Roxana are going to a study next week, okay? So it depends on the person you're talking about, the, the, verb, the, ver, the verb be that you use. It can be am um, if you're talking about first person singular, it's is if you're talking about he, she, it, and then it's are if you're talking about you, we, they, all right? And the going to is the same for everybody, plus the verb depending on what you're talking about. Do you understand what I'm talking about right now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah? All yes, right. yes. Very yes. good. Tengo 18 en línea. Solo oigo como cinco diciendo yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All yes. Okay. I do so. Excellent. I do so. Okay, nice. Oh, and now I have 19 people online. Very good. So let's continue here. So remember guys, practice makes perfect, okay? So that's why we need to practice every night. Then we got, then we have this, future simple forms. I know you know this, but we need to review it, okay? Just in case. So we say will plus verb one. When I say verb one is the base form, okay? Like of any verb, go, walk, take, eat, uh, watch, wash, sleep, whatever the verb is, okay? Let's see, uh, Lizzie, can you read the first examples, please? I will. Yes, future simple for will plus verb one. Mm -hmm. uh, she will call me when I, uh, when I write. Okay, I will help you. The next one is she will call me when I arrive. Okay, very good. Then uh, we have Ramiro be going to plus verb one. Can you give me the examples, please? Um, she, she, I, okay, I will help you. No, 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 the other one. Be going to, Ramiro. I, he's going to spend his vacation in London. He is going to spend his vacation in London. Very good. And London. the other one? I am going to be an actor when I grow up. Mm. 
Okay, so very good. So these two um, ways of expressing future, they are acceptable and they're both okay, all right? One we use with will and the other one we use with be going to plus the verb form. <coughs> All right, so then we have future simple, the use. Let's see. Um, Glenda, can you read the first one, please? Your microphone, Glenda. We use will to express a voluntary action. Ah, okay, a, continue, uh-huh. A, I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. B, I will make some sandwich. Excellent, all right, thank you, Glenda. So we use will, and I, this is where I want you to take notes because usually when we are in school, everybody teaches the use of future simple, they always teach will which is okay, but it has its uses. It's not for everything, okay? It depends how you want to use it. Number one is when you express a voluntary action, okay? When I say, oh, don't worry about it, I will help you, for example. I'm volunteering, I'm like, I'm like saying, really, I will do something, okay? As the example says, for example, Roxana says, Jessica, I'm really hungry. And I say, no, oh, Roxana, I will make some sandwiches. All right? It's like my voluntad. <laughs> All right? It's like I want to do it. All right? Number two. Hi, Noemi. Welcome. Dios mío, no digo pues, si que hoy vinieron todos los que no habían venido. All right. That's okay, Noemi. Very good. Uh, ya que está ahí, Noemi, can you read the second one, please? We use will to express. Okay. We use will to express a promise. Uh huh. Um, I promise I will not tell him about the surprise party. Excellent. Okay. So in this um, case, this is this is use number two. We use will to express a promise. Okay. When you say, Jessica, will you come tomorrow? And say, I promise I will come tomorrow. Okay. So when I use um, when I promise something, I'm always going to use will. All right. Thank you, Noe. Uh, let's see. Walter Guerrero, can you use? Uh, can you read the the last one, please? Uh, um, we use will uh, to express a spontaneous a decision. Spontaneous decision. A spontaneous decision. The action is uh, decided at the moment of speaking. Oh, okay. So thank you so much. Continue with the example, sorry, uh-huh. Okay, uh, the letter A, the phone is ringing. The letter B, I will answer. All right, so we use will, thank you. We use will to express a spontaneous decision. It's happening right now. If I say, hey guys, let's go right now to, I don't know, to the beach. We will go to the beach right now. We're not planning it. Something is like, I say, oh, let's go now. It's an decision. The action is decided at this moment. It's not planned. All right, that's when we use will. So number one, to express a voluntary action. Number two, to express a promise. And number three, to express an a spontaneous decision. That is when we have to use will, all right? This is when we should use will. Do you have any questions so far? No questions? No. Okay, no. excellent. Let's continue then. Then, oh, my internet's not stable. <laughs> All right, future simple use. We use will. Continue here, Fatima, number one. Number one, we use will to request help or offer help. Uh -huh. Will you will you please help me to do my homework? Very good. So in this case, you are requesting something. All right. So that's when you use will. All right. Alex Aguilera, can you read the other the other one, please? Sure. We use will with words and expression like probably, mm -hmm. Possi possibly. possibly? Mm -hmm. Perhaps, perhaps, I am sure, 
I expect. Ah, okay. For Read the example, sentence. Uh -huh. I will probably get there by car. I will probably get there by car. So this is very important. When we use expressions like probably, possibly, perhaps, I'm sure, or I'm not sure, and I expect we're always going to use will. All right? So those are very like, those are um, keywords that we need to know. Ale Arias, can you read the other one, please? We use will. We use will with word. No, the, the last one, right? Right. No. Teacher? Yes, yes the last the one. one. The last one, yes. When? Sorry. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We, we use will when the main verb is be. Even if we talk about the plan event. I, okay. will, I will be in London tomorrow. Ah, all right. So these are like the uses of will, the proper uses of will, okay? Let's go on then. Then we have be going to use, all right? Amy Elias, can you read the first one, please? Amy, Amy? No? All right. Roberto, oh my goodness, Roberto is here today. Roberto, can you read the first one, please? Hi, Roberto. We use, hello. Hi. We use be going to, uh, to talk about pure plans. Prior, prior plans. Prior, prior plans, a strong invitation or fixed arrangement. Okay. We use be going to, to talk about prior plans. Prior means beforehand, like we already planned them. It's strong intentions or fixed arrangements. So continue reading the example, um, Roberto. I'm going to buy a new car next year. Okay, so you're thinking about buying a car next year. That's a prior plan you have a very strong intention, all right, to buy a new car. All right, thank you. James, can you read the other one, please? Yes. We use both will or be going to to predict future events. Okay. Uh, the weather tomorrow will be sunny and you are going to be a famous artist. Okay, very good, nice. Adriana, can you read note? Okay. No, we use be going to, not will, to make prediction about events. Events. When, events. Events. When, events. When there is a concrete ev evidence. Okay, evidence. Yes. Can you read the examples, Adriana? Look at those dark coals in the sky. The weather? It is going to rain soon. Yes, look at those dark clouds in the sky. It is going to rain soon, okay? So there is evidence. I can see the, the dark clouds, all right? When it's cloudy, you say, uh-oh, it is going to rain, all right? Because the possibility is there the the evidence is is obvious okay all right time expressions that will help us identify will or going to or in future all right daniel can you read these ones please all right tomorrow i'll go to the market tomorrow soon Don't worry, he will be here soon. Next week, year. There will be another meeting next month. In five minutes, in two hours. I will return in two hours. Later today. I will finish my report later today. All right, so these are some expressions that we can use when we talk about future, all right? Soon, tomorrow, next year, next month, 
next week, next, I don't know, weekend, all right? You can also say in five minutes or in two hours, that's already future, and later today because the day is not finished, okay? Everybody okay? Hello? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think you guys are sleeping. All right. <laughs> All right. So future simple, the form here. We have positive form, and this is, you already know this. So for every, look at the pretty flower. We have will for I, for he, for she, for it, for we, for you, and for? They. They. Right. they. Excellent. A good tactic. I know. <laughs> and then you also. Use, yeah, and <laughs> this is also the verb, all right? So the rest of the sentence. So you say, I will visit Noemi next weekend, all right? Or you say, we will finish this class in half an hour, all right? I am sure he will succeed on the test. The negative forms, then we have the subject. We have will not, or we can say won't. And then we have the base form of the verb plus the rest of the sentence. So I say, I will not visit Noemi next weekend. Right, or you sure. can say yes. And uh, one is equal will no, not. it's equal will not. Will not. No, not. Okay. So Noemi, when you want to say will not a neck like will not, you can say I will not uh, have a class on Friday, or you can say I won't have a class on Friday. Okay. Either one, it's okay. Now, usually when we talk about negative forms for the uh, simple future, we say won't. Teacher, right. is yes. it won't a equal in the platform is equal will? O yo estoy confundida porque yo así entendí en la plataforma dice ahí que will is igual a one. Won't well, not. Yeah. That would be wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Well, All right, but, yeah, like, yeah, let me check it too, Noemi, but it should be will not is the same as won't. Okay. Okay, but let's check it. Okay, we'll check it. All right. Okay, okay. thank you. So it says he will not do it again. Okay, in this example. Then we have the question forms. Yes, no question. Of course, we use will before, then the subject, then the verb and the base form, and then the rest of the sentence and the question mark. That is very important, okay? Will you finish your platform tonight? That is my question. Will he come to visit us tomorrow? Okay, so when you talk about WH questions, then you have the, 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 what's that? I can see it. <gasps> yeah, you have the will. All right, so the WH word plus will plus subject, the verb, the rest of the sentence, and then of course you have the question mark. Where will you study when you finish school? Ah, that's with nouns. All right. Then we can Teacher. say yes. In the second structure is noun. WH? Yeah. Noun. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure it out. WH, then you have the will, and then the subject. Where will you, this is the same as the other one. I don't know what they made a difference in this one, but it's the same. So it should be not the noun or the subject is the same. Okay. So who will, uh, for like, like, look at the example on the, the last one, come to help him. All right, so in this case we have who, the same as the other one, WH word, then will. 
All right, yeah, I know, understand the difference. The difference here is that in this one, you have, in the second one, you have a subject, and then the other one, you don't really have a subject. You have a direct um, verb immediately after will. But it's mm. pretty much the same. All right? Yes. All right. Ow. Okay. Okay. Then we have positive form with the be going to. Okay, so I, he, she, it, we, they, you, I with am, um, he, she, it with is, we, they, you with are, and then going to do something. All right, he's going to spend his vacation in a lot. I don't know where that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's the same thing. You add not to everybody. All right, and then going to do something. I am not going to have a class on Friday. Sarah isn't going to visit her aunt on Friday. All right, that would be the negative. And then we have the question forms. Yes, no questions. Again, you use the verb be first. All right, and then the subject, the going to do something. Are you going to be a teacher? Yes, I am going to be a teacher. The same thing in this one. There is a subject. I, in this one, they are using this structure, but it's pretty much the same. All right. Where are you going to spend your weekend? Right after are, um, and is, you have the subject. In this one, you have a subject question. Nor a noun, nor a noun, but it's pretty much the same. Who is going to speak at the lesson, all right? Are you ready to practice? Okay, but we're not gonna do this one right now. We're gonna go to, um, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. And what I want you to do is, I want you to do to your groups, to go to your groups. Do you remember when to use will? Hola, hola, guys. Yes, teacher. Yes, Okay, okay. Because I have a many rules. Yeah, of course. All right. And did you know all the rules? Yes. There are a lot of rules. Yeah. Did you know them? Some. Yes. Some of them, right? Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to your groups and I, right now only practice with will. Okay. Only sentences with will, not going to. And I want what I want you to do is I want you to make one example per use. And according to this PowerPoint presentation, we have like about six uses. Okay. So six. I want, yeah, six, look at it. Six sentences. That's right. Let's look at it here. Let's go back and see. Hold on. Let's go back here. Just give me a second here. Okay. Here, guys, is three of them. And then here we have another three. So there are six uses. Okay. Did you copy them or are you going to take a picture of this right now? Okay. Take a Be picture. picture yeah, please. take a, hold on. I'm no. going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it bigger. Hold on. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, take a picture of this. Okay. okay. All right. And now take a picture of this. The other three. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Very good. Yeah. So now go to your groups and make one example for each use, but don't use I, 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 or right? you can use we, my brother and my friend. You can use uh, my classmates, whatever subject you want to use. Okay. But using will. Do you understand? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, so I'm going to send you to your groups right now. Oh, 
All right, click on your groups right now, guys. Ramiro, James, Ale. Hi, James. Hi Ali, hi James. La María dice, o oh, oh, estoy muy gorda, creo que practicaré unos ejercicios en el gimnasio. <risa> No en mí en that sentence. Ay, teacher, ¿qué hora llego? <laughs> okay. The, the news, new, nuestra oración es: She will practice exercise in the gym. Is really? That is for which one? For the voluntary action. Is practice exercise. I know, but which use is it for voluntary action or to express a promise or an spontaneous I know, decision? I know. Cheese is fat. <laughs> La María va solita. Me dijo. Sí. Con todo su botellita, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> y entonces, eh, ese yeah. Yeah. La primera, la segunda, la tercera, la cuarta, la quinta o la sexta. La primera, la primera está mejor. Okay. And they express the voluntary action. Okay. Teacher, the verb is in, in present. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's the base okay. form. Yes. It's a base form. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And then two. And the number two. Okay. And the express promise. Promise. Um, I I the fears I promise uh, after I will yes yeah yeah 
the second can be my mom will promise um, no. to make no make me no my, my mother promise uh, my mother will or she will my yeah, mother my promise, mother promise she will she okay. will not my mother uh -huh. promise she will uh, cook to me my favorite food she oh, will cook good. for me for me okay okay all right okay okay I promise she will cook the human she will cook okay for me teacher say it again uh, my mother promised she will cook for me that's right my favorite okay. food uh-huh that's right yes okay thank you okay okay the expression is spontaneous the action is at the moment this is speaking um Spontane. Spontane. Can be yesterday. Imagine you are in a conversation, for example. Uh, yesterday I know a handsome boy. Uh, I will uh, find him in Facebook. Uh, the spontaneous the I be uh, the face I will uh, I will in the verb the I will the next the will is verb I will I, I forgot why I, why I say I, I will accept invitation all right yes. yeah oh, yes yes it's good Ale very good sentence, Ale. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, repeat, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will uh, accept invitation. Eh? Yeah, I will accept the invitation. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> La otra. Sí. Yeah, number three. Okay. Number The meal is spoiled. The meal is spoiled. Spoiler. Don't worry. I it's spoiled spoil because it's to... the present. Where the meal is boiled. Uh, oh, be it's boiling yes. when the meal is boiling. Está hirviendo. Yes. The meal is boiling. Meal is boiling. Don't don't worry. I will go to see the milk. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, How are you? Fine. Go to. Okay. There is a lot of. Um, I will go to. Situation for use will. To class. Yes. Uh, Alex, you were not in class yesterday, were you? No, sorry, it was raining a lot. Yeah, I know. Yes, uh, I was troubled because uh, yesterday I played football with the, with my co-workers. Okay. And then I had to travel to Carretera Los Chorros in oh, the night. Oh, my good. At night? Okay. Yes, uh, around... Uh, 8 p.m. Okay. But was uh, so scared to travel at I the know, time. Uh, yeah, especially on that road, Alex. <laughs> that yes, road is very uh, dangerous. Yes, I was 
uh, cross my my finger for yeah, no not to be uh, not to close the 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 way. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you were okay. Yes. <laughs> Things of God all good. Oh, okay. Very nice. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are alive. Yeah, yes. Uh, is, I have, is, uh, is that sorry. correct? Um, yes, Alex. Go. Okay. Continue. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, teacher, I have a question about the number two. Mm -hmm. uh, when you use a will to, to express a promise, mm -hmm. um, is it necessary to say, I promise? No. Because I can say I will help you, or yeah. I going to help you. But sure. if I put I promise, I mean, it's necessary you, to use. Not necessarily. Oh. I mean, for example, say, tell me the sentence again. Okay, uh, I I will help you with the final test. Okay, so in for example, we were talking about the final test, and I was telling you how difficult it is for me. And then you say, ah, okay. don't worry, Jessica, I will help you for the final test. In a way, you can, it is a promise, but to make it more emphatic, Alex, it's a good idea for you to say, I promise I will help you for your I next. I promise test. I will help. Mm -hmm. but because if otherwise, uh-huh. If I say, I going to help you. I am going incorrect. to help you. It's not yes. correct. Because, for example, you are planning to do it. Okay? Yeah. It depends on the context. It depends on the context. That's why, Alex, in this case, it is very good because we're getting used to the uses. It's very good for you to use, I promise I will help you on the final exam. So you understand that you yeah. Because otherwise, it sounds also like a voluntary action or an spontaneous action. So it yes, can be very like easily I, I confused. Stand alone. Yes, uh, sometimes this topic is, is a little bit complicated yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, there is not a lot of teachers that can play you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, yes, it's true. <laughs> in my case, it's uh, a little confused because uh, in the past, mm -hmm. uh, that my teacher say will use in when when it's not uh, it's not uh, certainly certainly. Mm, the plan is not certain. The plan is not certain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Pero son inciertos. Pero son inciertos. Son inciertos, claro. Mm -hmm. Pero también son están inciertos. estos otros usos que son como un poco más complicados porque son como bien parecidos. All right. Yes, because mm -hmm. in that case, uh, I uh, I learned to use uh, the coin too because it says. Uh, more certainly to us is a plan. Yeah. I go into ta 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 whatever things and but uh, the, the problem is that when you are talking you don't think about all the grammatic. You right. only speak. Yes. <laughs> that yeah, yes. That's, that's the because problem. But, mm -hmm. Drop the rules. We <laughs> yeah we of course when we speak English. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and for that reason, sometimes uh, we don't understand, uh, we don't understand the, the meanings about the, the, the paragraph. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I think it's very important for you guys to know all these uses. Yes, it's yes. very important. Mm -hmm. It's very important because uh, uh, we, I don't remember. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> tenemos, <laughs> tenemos. The important uh, is practice. Yeah, 
Yeah. We, we, tenemos mejor, um, una better. mejor comprensión. Of course, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. About the, 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 the uses of this. Uh, the usage, no, the use in, in is the best, uh, the best the, um, translate, translate the, the paragraphs in, for example, in my case, in my, in my work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, every, every information is in English. Okay. And I, okay. I translate the, 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 the meanings uh, to my other partner. Okay. My co-worker. Yes. Right. Ah. I translate. The, but, yeah. Yes. To to every part uh, co-workers uh, mm -hmm. understand the um, the the instructions. Okay. But okay. Uh, it's it's good. Yes, I it's good. I <laughs> I learning more. Of course. Very good. That's the idea. The idea yes. is to challenge you. You understand that? Yes. And, and, and I stop in my in my study English. Uh -huh. But in this moment, I understand uh, a little. All right. That's good. That's good. A little more. So, and I think this is going to help you, OK? Yes. All right. right. Very nice. Okay. The, yeah, the, idea, the idea here is just to keep on practicing, all right, and to realize and discover that we can use, in this case, will in very different ways, all right, not only for certain or uncertain situations. We need to know that will is for voluntary actions, for spontaneous actions, for promises, all right, so that's also very important because usually we don't know all the uses of will. All right, yeah. that's and I love, <laughs> I lost sometimes I lost them when um, when the the the, the boss mm -hmm. speak English. Okay, yes, because it's a native. Yeah. All right. I'm a Native American. All right. Oh, interesting. Very good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back to the group right now because uh, I just want to hear some sentences. Tomorrow, we're going to keep on talking about this topic and we're going to talk about going to. All right. Okay. We will hear, we will hear tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes, teacher. All right, um, how's everybody? Were, were you guys able to finish your six sentences? Hello? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Did, you, did you find it difficult yes. to come up with your sentences or not? So not yes. so much. Not so much? All right, very good. No. So remember the, that the idea behind this practice is for you to understand that there are many more uses of will than we know, all right? Because usually we know the will, we use it when we use it for future, and when we don't know that something is going, is going to happen because it's not a planned situation. But if you notice, there are more uses of will, okay? And the idea is also to make it, but make it like a little bit more interesting for you, okay? Because we know one use of will, which is certain plans where we haven't planned something. But if you notice, we talk about will when we have, when we make promises or voluntary actions or spontaneous actions, okay? So that's very different when we, when I, we, when we have to use will, all right? So that's the idea, okay? Tomorrow, guys, we will talk a little bit about be going to, and we're going to make exercises, mixed exercises, all right? And sometimes they seem the same. And that's why it's important to know the differences because it's not the same. It's similar, but it's not the same. 
Okay. So okay. tomorrow when we okay. come in, when we come in, I want you to share some of the uh, sentences that you came up with tonight, and then after that, uh, we're going to study a little bit more about we're going to, and after that, we're going to make exercises with will and going to and be going to all right so that's the plan for right. tomorrow remember that we only have two more classes left tomorrow on wednesday i mean thursday but thursday i need to go over the exam with you guys okay to make sure that everybody is on the same page and everybody understands everything so pretty much tomorrow is the very last day of classes so I really need you to be in class tomorrow, okay? No excuses tomorrow, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. All right, teacher. So thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Okay, see Bye. You tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.